Huh? In several regions, Kenya has sunk into abject poverty, largely because markets in their segments were interfered with or not, not properly governed. The failure to protect and regulate markets disrupted their development and more importantly curtailed further investment in those sectors such as coffee, sugar, cotton, pyrethrum. The institutional failure problem pushed policy to fail. In this context, the bottom-up economic transformation agenda interventions at the bottom of the pyramid are targeted to ensure that the markets are properly governed to work for everybody and especially the poor. Mr. Speaker, for Kenya to transition from the middle income status of the economy to an upper middle income status as envisioned in the Kenya Vision 2030, two driving factors are important. That is, we must develop our human capital capability and we have to increase production and productivity. Mr. Speaker, the Kenyan economy is susceptible to the ravaging impact of climate change as demonstrated in the, 20, in the 2021, uh, uh, 22 severest drought, which was more severe, which we haven't seen in the last uh, 40 years. And the events of floods that have led to massive loss of property and, and life. The most important thing is that these shocks have shifted budgetary resources from economic activity to saving lives and rebuilding damaged infrastructure. And this calls for urgent and decisive interventions, especially to our supply side, which I will later address in this statement.